All right. Hi, everyone. This is Six Weeks to Success, uh, call number one. I'd like to thank you for all being here and for giving me some of your time, and hopefully we can grow together. Um, a lot of what we're going to go over in the next six weeks are, are basic. But quite honestly, sometimes we need to be reminded of the things that we need to do to make this a successful business. And um, I go back to basics all the time. Uh, in, in what I need to do where, when I analyze my business, where I need to grow. And um, so I want to encourage you that to take this class with a fresh set of eyes. Does that make sense? Um, to, to uh, in fact, I'm going to mute everybody. Um, uh, just muted me. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That's not. Okay. Nope. All right. We'll just ask everyone to mute themselves so we don't have any background noise. But I would like to encourage you to look at, uh, to take these classes with a fresh set of eyes and an open heart. And we're going to be asking some people to share uh, some things that they've done to increase their bookings. A lot of this is about bookings. Uh, some of it is about recruiting. But this is harvest time. This is the, the best time of year to change anything in your business, anything at all. And so um, I want to encourage you to try some of these things. Every class is a week apart. So we are going to move kind of quickly. But, um, but at the same time, that's what keeps it exciting is moving quickly not drawing it out so um so let's get going okay so i am going to share my screen all right okay there we go all right can all of you see that okay sharon can you give me a nod can you see that Okay, got it. Awesome. Well, welcome to Six Weeks to Success. Um, I'm thrilled to be here to help you all in your businesses and to um, also, I know there's a lot of directors on this call as well. Um, we want you to look at it with eyes of a leader so that when you have your one-on-one -on -one phone calls, you, um, you can turn around and um, help people see where they need to improve. So, all right, let's go. Um, six weeks class is designed, let's see, the, uh, is designed to help you start maximizing. Please re-enter your meeting ID followed by the pound oh. or hash sign. Okay, is that me that's talking? Okay, someone uh, is not on mute, so if you could put yourselves on mute, that would be great. Start maximizing your potential to start filling up your calendar with bookings your pocketbook with paychecks and your product knowledge to peak performance. Okay, let me see here. Um, let me see here. Okay, um, so let's get started. Um, let's talk about the belief triangle, okay? Oh, <laughs> I'm hearing somebody and I don't know who it is. Okay, let's try that. Let's. Okay, um, let's talk about the belief triangle. This triangle is very, very popular in our business because it's really, really true. It's, it's kind of like a circle of success. When you believe, you desire, and you take action, okay? Um, it's, you must start with the action step because once you do that, you're going to start having results. And, and a lot of times we, we don't, we're discouraged and we don't feel like doing something, um, but that's the very thing that the action will create results and that's going to fuel our belief. So sometimes, like I said to my kids often when they were in school and they were worried about a test, they said, fake it till you make it. It's in there. You've studied. You know you can do this. So let it just happen and come out of you. When you're making your phone calls, let it just happen. Um, get on the phone and don't stop till you get the results that you're wanting to have. Okay, your actions cause uh, or determine your results. Your results then reinforce your beliefs. Your beliefs then start the circle all over again and determine your actions. 
And it all starts with action, okay? And that probably means going out of your comfort zone. All right? Talk about affirmations that work. Anything is possible if you believe it's possible. One of the things that helped me succeed was implementing positive self-talk and creating positive self-affirmations or statements for myself. Our brain only knows and believes what it hears and sees. So if you train yourself to think positive thoughts of success, that will eventually happen. Did you know that about 90% of your daily communication is the self-talk you do within your own mind? And that can be sort of scary if it's not positive, right? Our, our brain believes what we tell it, okay? So you have to tell it the right stuff for it to react and, and act the way you want it to, okay? So if you're always down on yourself, if you're saying, you know, oh, this is never gonna work, nobody wants to have shows, guess what? Nobody's gonna wanna have shows because you're gonna say, I know you really don't wanna do this, but I was calling to see, but I'm sure you and your friends are too busy to do this. Do you see what happens? It's that negative circle. In fact, I'll, I'll never forget a gal named Linda. She made up a button that says, I know the secret. And, and you know, we, um, <coughs> excuse me, we made up a button for everyone at a seminar that says, I know the secret. And everybody said to her, what's the secret? What's the secret? And she said, I needed to believe in myself. I needed to stop using negative talk and everything changed, everything. So thoughts create belief. The more you think a thought, the more you believe it. So affirmations help you override those negative beliefs. A favorite quote of mine is by Henry Ford and it says it all. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna say it again. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right, okay? So however you think is gonna manufacture what your life is gonna be. Change your thoughts, you change your world. Norman Vincent Peale. What's an affirmation? An affirmation is a statement that describes a goal in its already completed state. In a nutshell, an affirmation is, a, is worded in a way that expresses the outcome you're looking for. Okay, here's some affirmation ideas. Personal, I deserve success in my life. Success comes easy to me. For business, it's January 1st, 2018, and I am a director. For bookings, I am a booking machine. I'm a booking magnet. Everyone loves to book parties with me. So let's talk some more about belief as it relates to bookings, okay? Let's say you're getting ready to make booking calls. You grab your phone in the first number and you make the call. You're unprepared for what to say. So the first thing your brain tells you is, I don't know why you're making this call. She's not gonna answer. I don't even know what I'm re really gonna say. She'll probably say no if she doesn't answer. I know she's busy with her kids, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Has anybody ever felt that? Anybody? Absolutely, okay. Our inner person starts telling us all the reasons why this is not going to go well. You don't believe she's going to book, so you start with something like, hey Jane, I know you're super busy and it probably can't hurt, uh, and you probably can't, but I'm trying to book some shows in August, and I know you're probably gonna say no, but do you think you could do a party for me? Does this sound familiar, guys? I should say ladies and guys, <laughs> okay? I'm guessing that you don't believe that our products are so amazing that anyone would drop everything to have a party. You don't believe that your shows are so much fun that they are a do not miss event, that anyone would be crazy not to attend. You don't believe that you can change lives by teaching guests a few recipes and showing them products that will transform their dinner time, um, their dinner time dilemmas and bring back their families back to the table. Does that sound familiar too? You need to start looking at the phone like this. It's your modem for your future. It's the source of your financial freedom. It's the answer to an empty calendar and we need to start with how you see this instrument and tweak what we believe. Belief. So let's really look at what we believe. 
I want you to grab a piece of paper and write belief in each, uh, in each one of these down and then answer yes or no honestly, okay? So everybody grab a piece of paper. And write, do I believe in our product? Our host opportunity, our business opportunity, the company, and myself. Now honestly answer yes or no next to each one of those phrases, please. Do I believe in our product, yes or no? Do I believe in our host opportunity? Yes or no? Do I believe in our business opportunity? Do I believe in our company? And most importantly, do you believe in yourself? Okay. Now only you're going to see these answers. So you're going to know what you need to work on when it comes to changing any no's that you have into yeses. All right. Let's break it down a little bit further. Do I truly believe in myself as a driving force in my business, in my family? Good night, honey. Good night. In the lives of others? How about as someone who can get it done? As a confident and strong recruiter. Did you answer yes or no to all of those? It's really important that you, you do some writing and because you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of action steps by uh, by doing this exercise. Okay. And do I think positively? Do I see myself as being successful? How are you feeling about your business? As a successful business owner? As the leader of a successful team? And if you don't have a team yet, will you be the leader of a successful team? How are you going to feel when you take on that role? How about as a consistent, strong seller? Do you think positively about those four statements? You see, how we feel is going to come across to people. Um, I, I always, um, you know, people are... are always saying, well, Nancy, you just always have the right words. You always know what to say. You're just a people person. That's not my strengths. You know what, guys? I think anyone can change anything in their life. I really believe this. Um, when I started the business, I was, I was a person who was insecure. I was a person who wasn't feeling really great about themselves. And I was a person who didn't... Um, just have a strong belief in, in me, okay? And I was, I was a huge people pleaser. Anybody with me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that hasn't changed much. But, um, but what was really amazing in the four quadrants of different personality types, I was solely down here. I was in this, this left quarter, um, bottom quarter. But now as I've grown as a person and as, it, as I've grown in my role, as I've grown of how I think about things, I'm, I'm in the center. I, I can put on different hats in the different personalities and I can be pretty balanced. And that, that is by growing and believing and, and experiencing, experiencing different people, experiencing different things in my business, experiencing some things that are very successful, but also when I've struggled. And everyone has struggled in this business. Everyone. I don't care who you are. 
as Doris Christopher. She'll tell you more stories about struggling than you can imagine. But it's keeping at it, and it's keeping, um, it's, it's overcoming the things, those negative attitudes, and believing in yourself. Because I, today I had a conversation with a, um, a trainer and coach that we just had uh, at an executive seminar. And um, he was doing some, he gave everybody a personal hour, um, or an hour to personally coach each person. And um, I was sharing with him how even after 31 years, I believe in this business. I believe what we do is more than just helping people make money. We are changing the fabric of the table. We make it so that people feel confident and equipped to put dinner on the table. We're helping people across the country in so many ways. And that's what you have to believe way deep down deep inside for you to succeed at what you're doing. Because you know what? If it's just about a paycheck, you can get a paycheck anywhere, right? You can go all different places to get a paycheck. But if you want to make a difference, if you want to make a difference in people's lives, if you want to teach them how to feel great about putting a meal on the table, um, you can do that. I don't care who you are or what, what area of the country you're in, you can make a difference in people's lives. And I, and I know you do. There are four pillars of success in this business. Belief, passion, skill, and will. If any one of these pillars is lacking, what's going to happen to the roof? It's going gonna, it's gonna to crumble, isn't it? One side of the house is going to go down or you're gonna get a leak in the roof. Like what happened to me in Florida, I thought I, I slid through that hurricane without much damage, just a couple of fence gates coming down. But little did I know that the next day my bedroom ceiling came down because I had a leak in my roof. I didn't know it, you couldn't see it. But you know what? It, it, it came in through that roof and it wet my whole bedroom ceiling. So that's, thank goodness no one was laying in the bed. They would have got really hurt. <laughs> okay. But I, you couldn't see it. You couldn't see it. But it happened. And I had to have that roof patched really quickly because there was five more days of rain coming. All right. So I want to encourage you to make sure your roof's not leaking. All right. What do you think you can do to strengthen your belief system? Your homework this week is to believe again. And in order to do that, you're gonna to need to play with your tools again. You're gonna to make dinner with your tools every night. You're gonna take pictures and videos of your tools and your dinners, and you're gonna post on Facebook what you're making, okay? Even if it's just something as simple as chicken quesadillas, if it's some soup, even if you're just heating something up, how are you heating it up? Are you using a pan? Are you using the microwave with one of our microwave containers? Are you using the rock rock as a slow cooker? What are you doing? Because you know what? People are interested. Even if we think they're not, they really are because they, they're going to emulate what you do. In fact, Facebook predicts that by 2020, 96% of Facebook is going to be all videos or Facebook Live. How do you like that? Okay. Um, I think that's pretty interesting. I'm gonna challenge you to fall in love with this company again. View a live show or a virtual show held by a director or a strong seller. Google our CEO, Tracy Britt Cool, to learn what an amazing person we have leading the Pampered Chef. She is unbelievable. She, we are so blessed to have her, and we are so blessed to have that kind of brain trust in running our company. I mean, she's truly brilliant. She's truly brilliant. And she's doing things that we've never done before. Okay. And she's trying things that quite honestly, I, in the past, I probably would have said, Oh, no, we can't do that. That's not the way we do things. Oh, no. But you know what, it's a new day. And we're doing things differently. We're doing things differently. Because we have to stay with the times, don't we? We have to grow with the way people are communicating, with the way people are doing things. And I still believe in the show, the live cooking show. Um, call it a party, call it a class, call it a workshop, call it whatever you want. 
but I really believe that people do love to interact with one another and they like to see things in action. Because, you know, let's face it, if they just wanted to see a cooking show, they could turn on their TV any time of day, right? They could turn on the TV any time. So if we can get people around the table and around the, or around the island, um, I think that people will act and interact with each other, okay? Um, and I do think that we need an excuse to gather. So make, make the Pamper Chef party the excuse to, uh, to gather. And I say that at my shows. I say, when's the last time that you had your friends and family over? You don't have to do anything to your house, quite honestly. I'm going to come in and they're going to, they're going to be looking at the tools. They're not going to be looking at the last time you dusted. All right. So I want to encourage you to fall in love with our company again and to view something that's going on for today, especially those of you that are discouraged with bookings. You don't have to do all of these, but the more you do do, the more you're going to increase your belief. And that's the first foundation we have to conquer before we can move into passion. Okay. And I have one call I want you to listen to. And our, our phone call this, this week is Product Pros Have Bigger Shows. Okay. By Christina Cunningham and Joe Hackman. Now the way you get there, and we're going to put this on this, this um, slide on our Facebook page too. But you go to PCU, then you get a refresher, then it's selling, peer training resources, and then you'll find it. And make sure you have front of you, in front of you a copy of the handout, Effective Selling Skills, which again, I'll post on our Facebook page. Okay? Each week, you're going to have something to listen to, um, to strengthen what you need to do. And, um, you know, and if, if you need to have some friends over, invite your neighbors over. Say, I need to practice. Would you come and be my guinea pigs? Have a come cook with me event. And tell people to leave their, their checkbooks at home. Have a salad show. Have a, um, show them how to do freezer meals and put those meals in your freezer. But just, just you do the freezer meals with them, okay? They don't have to bring all their stuff to your house and make a huge mess. Show them the concept. Show them a concept that you're passionate about. Okay? All right. And then I would like you to complete the survey, survey that will be posted on our Facebook page tomorrow and send it to your director. Um, then schedule a call with your director to discuss your progress this week. With my people, I'm going to be calling them um, on probably Friday. All right, my personal people, so that you'll have some time to listen to the phone call and complete the survey and put some things into action. And I really want you to think about how many bookings you can put on your calendar, both live and virtual uh, workshops that you can have in your home, um, because this is about experiencing the pampered chef, okay? So if you're not doing anything with your business, how can you experience that? Okay, we're going to ask you to share five takeaways from this call along with the information on your progress this week. And if you created your affirmation, how many shows did you hold? How many bookings did you get this week? How many new team member leads did you get this week? You notice I said leads, not recruits. You need to get the leads first, okay? You need to be talking to enough people. What's one struggle you have this week? What's one big brag that you have this week? Maybe it's that you got on the phone. Something as simple as that, okay? Be proud out loud. We, as your leaders, want to hear what you're feeling good about and what you're struggling with. But please don't just tell us, oh, I can't, oh, I did you know. You have to try. You have to try, all right? So... We, we want to hear, but we want to hear how you tried and then didn't, you know, if something didn't happen. All right. Each week, we're going to have a new call for you to listen to and strengthen your pillars. So I'm going to open this up. Are there any questions? Anybody have any questions? You can unmute yourself. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I hear somebody. This is Leslie. Hi, I'm Leslie. Curious, what is the name of our Facebook page? Um, the link come through. It's Six Weeks to Success. Okay. Yeah. And you know, you may need to friend or request, friend request me. Okay. To, so that we can, you know, put you in the group, okay? And, and let, me, let me know that you're, um, you're looking for the six weeks group, okay? All right, I'll do that. Thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. Um, and this is not, for, it's not supposed to be the Duke team six weeks, I'm sorry. Barbara shared this with me. It's supposed to be the Ryan. Change that. <laughs> okay, and our next call is next week at 7 p.m., okay? Is next Tuesday, right, night at 7 p.m. Central Time. Okay. Tuesday the 17th. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oops. All right. Tuesday the 17th. Okay. So, any other questions? Does anybody have or any comments or how they feel about this? We have a few minutes. I'd like to keep the training to about 30, 32 minutes so that people are eas can easily watch it. Um, but is there, um, is there any comments or any, anything you're excited about? Nancy Joe, will you have these slides available on like the Facebook group in files or anything? Um, I can share them with you with my directors. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and the other thing is Lisa, uh, Lisa Bailey, are you still on? If you start talking, you should show. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can. Okay. Hi, Lisa. Would you do me a favor, Lisa? Would you share with everyone what you did the other day um, or what you've done during this last week? in between to go from, I think you went from 17 to 15 shows on your calendar, bookings on your calendar. Can you- Went from three to 18. Three to 18, wow. okay. Yeah. All right, um, so is everybody's ears alive here? Yes, <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> Okay. Uh, what I did was I, um, I was whining because I only had three parties and I typically do eight to 15 a month. and um, I had green dotted before, and then Pamper Chef came out with the $370 shopping sprees for 37 people to, to win. So I made up my own little blurb and green dotted about four days worth, a um, little over 100 people, and got, um, it was 10 bookings from that, so about one for every 10, which pretty much ring true and then um, got my booking slide back out I haven't had that out for a while so I started using that and um, I had two people at one party and I booked a party and I had another party last night with only five guests and I booked three parties there and it's just getting excited about um, the products again and the, the great things that they're giving us to work with I mean 60% off of anything we would not want to do that, so I tell them to pick out, go through the catalog and pick out the most expensive thing they want, and let's take 60% off of it. Yeah. And I don't know why, but I swear when I do the grilled chicken mile high loaded nachos, which I took the um, grilled nachos and the mile high nacho recipes and combined them to what I like, and every time I make those, I have success in sales and bookings, and I think it's just because it shows a lot of awesome products. And I tell them, I love making these because they use all my favorite products and I like to eat them because they're super yummy. So. <laughs> hey, Lisa, could you share that recipe on our Facebook page? Yeah, yeah. Can you share that combined recipe? So, sure. So, Lisa, you said a couple things. You said that you were, um, you were getting excited about your, um, your products again. You, started, you made some um, green dots, okay? I agree right. that calls and connections. You said one out of every 10 you were booking. Okay. So it, much. it reinforces pretty much what we already know 
again, back to basics, um, we just need to do it, all right? And my, my thing, I think the why I got in a slump, and I think I do this every single new season, I get so excited about the new products, and then I'm like, which ones am I going to use? What am I going to make? Mm -hmm. And I, I toss that around for a few weeks, and I'm like, stop driving yourself crazy about how many little fluted cakes are you going to make, and just go back to the stuff people love, and then just showcase, you know, show them the new products, and let them do you know, pick what they want as far as baking and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And if, and if you really don't have any leads um, and have a, have a, um, a fluted cake class. Now in Chicago, we have, we have a, a company, um, a store that sells nothing but cakes, okay? And they're five to six dollars a piece for the small bundt cake, all right? So if, if you do a class and bake some bundt cakes ahead of time, but then also have them bake them and see how easy they come out. You know, just bake one set of bun cakes and a large one that you can eat all together and then some small ones that they can each take one home. You have some fun decorating them. It, it can literally be an hour workshop at your house and uh, $25 to hold their spot and then they get a $25 credit um, towards, towards their pan, all right? And I don't put the pan order in ahead of time so they go home with it. I pay the extra $2 to um, send it right to their home because more than likely, they're going to buy some other things, all right? They're going to buy the decorator, the flour sugar shaker, the drizzler, or some other thing. Um, you can have a, a, a pull and serve salad bar class. I'm telling you, that one, um, one of the gals at our director meeting shared how she did that class. And there was 10 people there and, and everybody didn't go home with them. They just, they just heard, they just learned the concept. Okay. Um, and, and she had five people book to get all those products and she, and all those bookings were held within three weeks and she was on the second set of bookings within three weeks. Wow. You guys teach people concepts, teach people how to make that kitchen work for them with fresh and fast and inexpensive, you know, in this time where everybody's trying to save money, we have $2 per serving meals. Um, they, and someone else just talked about the, um, the one pot meals, okay, with the season's best. Now you can have four different classes with that. You can do a grill pan class, you can do a sheet pan class, you can do a slow, um, so a rack crack slow cooker class, and you can do also um, a deep covered baker class. Don't do them all at once, because they're not gonna buy all four of those things, are they? All right, on the same night. So break it out every couple weeks or, you know, two or three times a month. But seriously, equip people with a few products that is gonna make their life super easy. And if you're excited, they'll be excited, okay? Well, I want to thank you all for joining me. Thank you, Lisa, for sharing. I was so encouraged. Uh, and that's the second time Lisa has done that, okay? Uh, there was another time Lisa, was, as she calls it, was whining <laughs> to me uh, on a, a personal message, on a text message. And she got on the phone and she, she took the action into her hands. And within a few days, her calendar was filled. Her calendar was still. She went from one attitude to the next because she believes in what we do. All right. That's awesome. Isn't that great? Thank you so much. Look at Lisa big hand. Um, but seriously, it's just a matter of doing it. Don't let negative feelings stop you from being all you can be and from believing in yourself and believing in what we do. And, and I encourage you to never feel like you're selling someone. You're equipping people who have success in their kitchen. You're equipping them. You're not selling them a thing. You're helping them. People are consultants, okay, to all different kinds of things in life. We are a kitchen consultant. We're going to help them see what they love to make or what they want to love to make because sometimes people don't aren't cooking the way they really want to and they want to learn how to do that. You can teach them. 
and most people are wanting to go healthy and fresh. So if you're if you're say, where do I start? If you need to start with something fun, do the fluted cakes, okay, or the little um, the little pies, the cake pan, you know, or the pie the pie pans. And and don't buy Pillsbury. Anybody can buy Pillsbury. Teach them how to make the the um, the pie crust. The pie crust is is a dollar compared to six dollars to two or two packages of the pie crust um, from Pillsbury, okay, or Betty Crocker. I mean, Betty does a great job, but we can teach people how in just a few minutes they can make their own pie crust and feel good about it. Nancy. Uh, yeah. Um, this is Natalie. Um, so for me, because of my medical issues, I'm on a very strict diet where I can't have dairy or gluten. So like you're saying with the pie crust, it's difficult because when you go to the store, a lot of the things that they sell have those ingredients. So uh -huh. by being able to use the tools that we have from the kits and that we buy, it helps me show um, that there's other ways to do it where you can still eat healthy. Yeah. Um, and I love it because it gives me those tools to be able to use. And then I'm able to show other people. I have to do uh, uh, meal prepping uh -huh. and it makes my life so much easier by being able to use the stuff yes and and you know what there are so many people out there that have issues that have health issues that that want to eat clean or plant-based or um, gluten-free or dairy-free or meatless um, we have they just want to learn how so, you know, I remember one time someone said, I really want to learn how to use my slow cooker. I don't know how to use my slow cooker. I said, tell you what, have a party and I'll teach you how to do that and bring over some recipes. In one day, I went online and in a couple hours, I had a whole show outline and I did this whole thing on slow cookers, okay? And that was when, um, do you remember uh, Chili Soups and Stews came out? Mm -hmm. uh, that Pampered Chef took that idea and ran with it because, and that was before we had our slow cooker, of course, but any of those things would work now. Um, if you get passionate about something, passionate about something you believe in, just like Natalie was saying, you guys, everything changes. Everything changes. So you can do this. So what are you passionate about? What do you want to teach people about? Do you want to teach them how to make meals in 15 minutes? how to cook clean, how to cook once for the week, how to make a salad for um, a different, uh, you know, the, the, I love the salad bar in the fridge idea, guys, because I tell you what, I don't know anybody that isn't all about a, a salad bar. I don't know anybody that doesn't love a good salad bar. So teach them how to create it. Cap once for five days, okay? So anyway, thank you for being, I don't want to take up too much um, of your time, and I want you to be able to share this with your team um, and um, and I just really appreciate your time and I, and I thank you for your desire to learn and your passion to learn because that's the very thing that will take you to the next step. So thank you so much, God bless you guys and um, some of you I'll see in about 20 minutes at the uh, Director Found um, program. So God bless you guys, see you till next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Bye-bye. Bye, Nancy. Bye. Bye, everybody. Here's all your beautiful faces. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Nancy Joe, will you do a, um, like an email with very uh, specific about the uh, homework?